Hey everyone, Joey Contino, and right now I wanted to make an extended video talking about what happened in Russia earlier today because there's a lot of misinformation, a lot of things have not been confirmed yet, and there's conflicting stories going around. I did a little video on TikTok and on Twitter and uh, YouTube Shorts, and I figured here would be a great place to either show you the footage, to talk about it more at length, and so on and so forth. Before we get started, please do make sure you subscribe because I want to give you guys updates on this story as it happens. For those who have no idea, maybe you found this video organically, earlier today, about seven hours ago, there was a massive explosion in the Black Sea. Now, in this area, there are many different Russian ships because keep in mind that right now, Russia has been controlling most of the Black Sea and other areas. And they did that by you know, having superior ships in there. And fortunately, there really is no Navy for Ukraine right now. Uh, back in 2014, it kind of got dismantled. But long story short, there was an attack in where Russia keeps all of their ships. And the only thing at this time that is confirmed on the Ukrainian side and Russian side was that one ship, it's the Russian frigate Admiral Makarov, has been damaged. That's kind of where all the confirmed stuff ends. There is a video online, there's two videos online. One video online is a security camera facing the harbor or the bay where these ships are located, and you can see the explosion take place. Take a look. Now that is a confirmed video at this time. That video has been confirmed by many different sources that yes, that is from that area showing that point of view. There is a second video going around though that has not been confirmed and yet it's being kind of thrown around as though it is a confirmation of yes, this attack took place. And I can't show this video on TikTok or, or, or Twitter and things like that, but I can put that on here to share with you. This is a video of a supposed Ukrainian drone, which is like a little kind of like, looks like a canoe, but it's packed with explosives, showing this kind of drone thing heading towards some kind of ship. And in the video, it gets closer and closer and closer to the ship. Now this ship does kind of resemble a little bit of the Makarov, uh, though there are no numbers on it to confirm that. I'm assuming that it is um, kind of night vision. And because seven hours ago in Ukrainian time, yes, it was practically early morning, so there really wasn't much light going around. So you would say to yourself, okay, there's no number on there. This little drone ship gets closer and closer and closer and then cuts out. And that's all the footage we have. And a lot of people are saying, well, why are you saying this is not confirmed? It kind of looks pretty darn accurate. Well, the one thing that really struck out to me is this is coming from one news source on Telegram. This Telegram group is a Russian group. It's got the Russian Z on it. It's all in Russian, okay? How would it be possible that Russians got the footage from a drone ship that exploded when it hit the frigate. That's one thing that's questioning a lot of different things. Now, what Russia is saying and what Ukraine is saying are two completely different stories. Russia is saying this morning that yes, that drone hit their frigate and exploded. But if you watch the video, the frigate looks like it may be moving on its, under, maybe on its own power or maybe even sitting by itself. Other sources in Russia are saying that other ships were also damaged. It wasn't near any ships in that video they showed everyone. 
So how did his other ships get damaged if it wasn't near other ships? Now, Ukrainian news, they, like, they technically haven't officially commented. The officials haven't commented on it except for one in the south. A spokesperson for the South Operational Command said this explosion may have been an unsuccessful launch of Russia's air defense missiles, which has happened a lot in the past month. In Belgrade and places like that where a Russian defense missile goes up and then just falls down and explodes. Ukrainian sources are saying that this may have been a false flag operation where Russia caused some kind of explosion on their own to kind of find a way to get out of the grain deal. And what's interesting is the grain deal is between Turkey, the UN, and Russia, so they can allow Ukrainian ships with grain out of Ukraine so they can bring that grain to countries because Ukraine, I think, is like the third largest producer of grain. And so 30 minutes after this explosion, Russian officials came out and just said, well, the grain deal's done. That's it, we're done with it. Which is such a weird way to react to something like this. If someone attacks you, instead of them, you know, trying to figure things out, they just came out and just said, well, the grain deal's done. Such a weird thing to randomly come out with. So at this time, that is all we know. Really, it's a lot of unconfirmed information. Even though this happened about seven and a half hours ago, a lot of information is still kind of stuck. Now, what's interesting is on that one Telegram channel, it does show multiple videos some of them in the daylight, some of them at night, some of them in like the middle of the night. So things aren't aligning up. Now, could we find out tomorrow that it's true? We don't know. I mean, once again, it's in war, there's a lot of misinformation and sometimes countries take that to their advantage. I know for a fact that there's gonna be a lot of satellites going back through their footage and trying to figure out how this actually happened. But as of right now, we still have no official like Zelensky or any generals come out and say that, yes, we attacked them. This did happen. So at this time, that's kind of where we're at. The UN is still delegating on how to handle this situation since it is something that is so, you know, very unique. I'm looking up, even updated, even, even as of two minutes ago, there was nothing. There's still no confirmation on what has gone on. Um, let's see here before I let you guys go for the day. Um, the only official that has came out is a presidential spokesperson who said Ukraine did not sign any grain agreements with the Russian Federation. The signatures are Russia, Turkey, and UN. Ukraine has not signed any agreements with Russia because it understands it would almost never honor its commitments. Which then kind of looks like they did do it. Once again, there's not enough information out there at this time to say whether or not Ukraine definitely did this or Russia have done it to themselves. So that's where we're at this time. It's roughly 2 p.m. So hopefully we'll give you guys updates later on the day. Anyway, I'm Joey. If you want to be updated with all the news, we do a lot of shorts on here, which are just the repeats of my TikToks. It's a backup account because right now my TikTok account is in some kind of warning and review. So please do make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And thank you for joining me.